Hello again and welcome back. Sorry, this is another video on the AGP HD 3850. Well, when you pay as much for an old graphics card as you can for one of these, you would want to make the most out of it too, so here we are again. This time round though, I want to talk about the best graphics driver to use with this card in Windows XP, which I imagine would be the operating system you would most likely use with this card. When I got it, and for months afterwards, I operated under the mistaken idea that the latest driver for it would be the best one. I went to the AMD driver page, filtered by model, and ended up with a download of the Catalyst 13.4 drivers. After testing it out, I was perfectly happy with the results, as I'm sure you would be too if running it. However, although it might be the latest available from AMD, it certainly isn't the best performing. I don't know how long I've spent running benchmark after benchmark after finding by accident when setting up another video that I could have been getting twice if not three times the performance in some tests. I looked for supported drivers that cover this card and came up with five different ones, then tested them against each other to find the best one. The test system I'm using is an ASRock 4-core dual Vista with a 3.6GB Core 2 Duo E7600 and two sticks of 2GB HyperX DDR2, so much faster than the hardware expected to run this card at the time it was released, and should help it stretch its legs to perform as well as it can. The drivers I've tried are the following ATI Catalyst driver versions. 8.12, 9.12, 12.4, 12.6, 13.4 and 14.4 and all benchmarks are run at their normal defaults unless otherwise stated. The first benchmark I used was 3 Mark 2001, and as with all the benchmarks used, it was run at least four times to get an average. Catalyst 8.12 wins this round, getting a score of 44,914 points. The 14.4 is the runner-up here, and the lowest performer was 13.4, with around 1,500 points less than the leader. Next is 3D Mark 03, where again the oldest driver surprised me by taking the top spot, followed by the next oldest, and in last place was the 13.4. Again. In 3D Mark 05, it's a similar story 8.12 just ahead of 9.12, then 12.6, 14.4, and 12.4, all about the same, and 13.4 at the bottom. In Aquamark 3, the 8.12, 9.12, 12.4 and 12.6 drivers all pretty much neck and neck, posting a 30 FPS lead over the 13.4 and 14.4 drivers, but officially first place goes to the 8.12 set, and 14.4 comes last. In Sanctuary, the fastest driver is the old 9.12, with fastest FPS figures for low, average and maximum frame counts. 12.4 and 12.6 come out exactly the same in the mid-range, and 13.4 and 14.4 also being identical in last place. Resulting figures are identically mirrored in the Tropics benchmark, with 9.12 again being the best performer, the 12s in the middle, and the more recent drivers coming last. In Heaven, I set the resolution to a windowed 1024 by 768 so as not to reduce performance too much. The 8.12s again take the gold by 40 points. After that, the newer they are, the lower the performance, with the 14.4s coming last. In the Far Cry benchmark, set at 1080p Ultra settings, the 9.12s dominate with an average of 53 frames per second, being nearly 20 frames per second faster than the newest 14.4s. And in Far Cry 2's built-in benchmark at optimal settings and at 1080p, the 8.12 beats the 9.12 and 12.6 drivers by the narrowest of margins, with the more recent drivers coming last, but there's not much in it across them all. I've just highlighted the 14.4s just to show that they were the worst. Crisis needs to be included, of course, and at medium settings at 1024 by 768 the 12.6 drivers take the top spot for minimum, average and top FPS scores. The other drivers are all roughly similar, with the exception of the 13.4 drivers having the lowest minimum frame count. In Doom 3, at 1080p Ultra settings, the 8.12s again destroy their closest competitor, being 10 FPS faster than the next oldest drivers, with the other drivers having two frames difference between them. In the X3 Reunion benchmark, it continues a growing trend of the oldest drivers running the fastest, being some 30 FPS faster than the newest drivers, and the 9.12s coming in a close second. In World in Conflict, running medium settings at 
1024 768 settings, this happens again with the 8 and 9.12s leading, the two 12 series coming very close, and the most recent drivers coming last with over 50 frames per second loss, which was really very surprising to see. Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, at the same resolution, with all the settings set to their highest, repeats this with an almost 60 FPS lead for the older drivers over the most recent, with the middle 12.6 set being the fastest of the bunch, 10 FPS faster than the 9.12s. In Fear, set at maximum settings on 1024.768, the 8.12s are back on top for frame rate. The 9.12s come next, with the newer drivers lagging behind, only let down by their average frames performance. Painkiller has a benchmark built in. Who knew? I only found out recently. Well, with everything on maximum settings at 1024 by 768 you will still have a good time on all the driver options, but the 14.4s slack in the back with a 30fps difference from the lead. Minimums and average frame rates are pretty similar regardless of the driver version, but I'd say this is a tie between the 8 and 9.12s. In Serious Sam 2 at 1024.768, the 9.12s and 8.12s again leap to the top of the pile, commanding the lead with a 30fps better result than the rest. The 14.4s assume their regular place at the bottom. The Gunmetal 2 benchmark gives pretty similar results. Catalysts 8 and 9.12 at the top by around 60fps maximum count this time, with the other drivers all being roughly the same. Bizarrely, the 8.12 drivers repeatedly gave the best low and average frames, and I tested them five times to be sure. In Company of Heroes, the 13.4 release again shows me why I shouldn't have settled when I installed it as yet again it comes convincingly last. This game scores another win for the 12.6 set though, maxing out at 320 frames a second. Stalker Call of Pripyat has a benchmark consisting of four parts – day, night, rain and sunshafts. The older 9.12 drivers have the best figures for maximum frames at 1080p medium, but I can't recommend them due to their abysmal minimum frame scores. I'd have to give this to the 14.4 overall. My last benchmark isn't a benchmark, it's a screensaver. Years ago I was so impressed with the 30 day trial of the Beam screensaver I bought a license key, and when the second version came out I bought that as well. I've used it on supported hardware ever since. I mean, look at this thing, it's just wonderful to watch. Why don't people make cool screensavers anymore? Anyway, with it set to custom 1080p settings, I let it run for 5 minutes on each driver version. It has an FPS counter and an average read right next to it, so it's easy to get an average. The problem is, it isn't a scripted run. The camera moves around one ship until it explodes, then moves to another and so on, but I figured 5 minutes was enough to get a decent figure, and wouldn't you know it, the 14.4 drivers seem to be the worst. It's a bit confusing. You would have thought that the later the driver, the more optimised it would be and the better the performance. You only need to look at the latest Nvidia drivers for RTX cards that came out recently for a good example. Tech channels and sites have been marvelling over how installing it is like downloading free performance, but this is not the case with the ATI drivers I've trialled in this video. If anything, they get worse as they get newer. It's as if cramming more tweaks and game support into them made them slow. In conclusion, I'd say that any of these drivers will work, but I'd suggest either the 8.12 unless you want to play Stalker, or the 12.6 for consistently good performance. Of course, it depends what you play, the resolution you play at, and also the hardware in your PC. Mine is quite a powerful rig for AGP cards, but you'll likely have different hardware, so you may have to experiment by yourself. Still, I hope this helps someone, I know it helped me. I'm working on another video at the same time as this one, so it shouldn't be too long this time. Um, until then, bye bye